The tough interview question, what are your hobbies and interests, comes up during 90% of job interviews. Now, most candidates think the question is an opportunity for them to talk about what they get up to at weekends, how they love to socialize with their friends, and chat about their favorite sports team. However, that is not the way to answer this difficult interview question. In fact, lots of people fail their interviews because of the response they give to this question. So, if you want to give the perfect answer, and more importantly, pass your interview at the very first attempt, make sure you stay tuned because I am here to help you. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Literally thousands of you are passing your interviews at the first attempt. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So to help you pass your interview at the first attempt, I will cover the following three things in this tutorial. Number one, I will explain why the interviewer is asking you the question, what are your hobbies and interests? There are two reasons why they are asking you this question. You need to know what they are. Number two, I will then give you a list of hobbies and interests that are great to use when answering this tough interview question. And then finally, number three, I will give you a brilliant top scoring answer to this question that will definitely resonate positively with the hiring manager. Okay, to begin with, why is the interviewer asking you the question, what are your hobbies and interests? Well, they are asking you the question for two reasons. Here they are. Reason number one, they want to find out what you get up to in your free time. Do you use your spare time wisely or are you the type of person who drinks too much alcohol and socializes until late at night, which could mean you end up taking lots of sick days? And reason number two why they are asking you the interview question, what are your hobbies and interests, is because they want to assess whether you use some of your free time for positive things such as self-improvement, keeping fit and learning new skills. If you are that type of person, you will definitely be a great fit for their team. Okay, let me now give you a list of hobbies and interests that will definitely impress the hiring manager. Please take notes. Number one is playing team sports. If you play team sports, it shows you are a selfless person who can collaborate with other people. Number two is keeping fit and active. If you go running, swimming, visit the gym, or undertake any type of fitness activity, it means you are less prone to illness and your concentration and energy levels will be higher than the average person. Number three is learning a new skill. If you are currently learning how to do something new, such as playing the guitar, playing the piano, drawing and painting, photography, or even yoga, it shows you can concentrate for long periods of time and commit yourself to achieving something challenging and purposeful. Number four is reading books. If you are an avid reader, it often demonstrates you are a patient person, calm, and someone whose vocabulary will generally be better than the average person. Number five is studying. Now this is a great one. If you are currently studying to achieve a new qualification, it shows you understand the importance of self-development and you are the type of person who is open to feedback and continuous learning, both of which will be appealing to the hiring manager. Number six is taking care of your family or looking after elderly relatives. This shows you are a selfless person who has their priorities right and has good levels of patience empathy and understanding. And number seven is volunteering. Now this is probably the best way to spend some of your free time and it will 100% impress the hiring manager. Volunteering shows you to be the type of person who puts the needs of other people first. So let me now give you a great example answer to that difficult interview question. What are your hobbies and interests? Here we go. My hobbies and interests include going to the gym, reading and learning to play the guitar. I visit the gym three times a week and this helps to boost my confidence levels and my concentration capabilities for when I am at work. I love reading books 
because this helps to improve my vocabulary and it enables me to unwind. The last book I read was Jocko Willink's Extreme Ownership, which taught me the importance of taking responsibility for everything that happens in your life. Finally, I have been volunteering at a local food bank over the past few months. It's been a great way to give something back to the local community and it's made me more understanding and empathetic. Okay, so there's a brilliant answer to that difficult interview question. What are your hobbies and interests? Now, the next thing to do, if you want to pass your interview at the first attempt, is click that link right now in the top right-hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can instantly download my full set of 100 brilliant answers to difficult interview questions. It's a fantastic resource and you can have it in your inbox literally within two minutes from now. Make sure you check that out also. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thousands of you are passing your interviews. I can only help you if you are subscribed. Please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your interview. Have a great day.